do you think that personal example is that, that important really? I, I think they play a huge importance in, in our lives. That's part of why I consider myself an accidental entrepreneur. I didn't have role models, mm -hmm. uh, women in entrepreneurship, in business. That wasn't a thing when I was growing up, whenever I was thinking about businesses and people that need businesses. I always imagined a man. I, I, I hope I'm making a good impression. Yeah, I hope I'm making an, 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 an impact. Um, that's definitely one of the of the drivers and I, I, I try to get myself involved as much as possible in the in the community, help as many mm. founders build businesses. Either, you know, it doesn't really matter of the gender, but of course I do have a soft spot <laughs> for females in uh, in business. Yeah, my mom is a hustler. That's what I <laughs> that's what I call her. Uh, because um she's not she's not an entrepreneur. She doesn't she's not running like a formal traditional businesses, but she has all kinds of ventures on the side. Um, she's painting um, uh, t-shirts and she's making uh, products and she has a flower business. So she has all of those small ventures on the side that you could call businesses, um, but it's not like a formal, it's not what people usually think of as a business. And the fact that she has uh, pushed us so much to participate in things, to build opportunities for ourselves. She moved us from the small village where we were uh, born, where she was born and she lived her entire life, mm -hmm. closer to the capital of Moldova, Chisinau, so we can get a better education. So I, I think that is a form of entrepreneurship. I think when I was younger, I participated in a lot of things. When I was super young, my mom enrolled me in a dancing school. I was terrible. I was so bad at it. Uh, but I remember her saying quite a lot of times that it is important to participate, that it's important to engage, and it's so important to try. I didn't understand that at a very, very young age, but I do now. I do understand that because uh, you mentioned Techstars in your introduction. It was the fourth time when we applied. But just the process of applying, the process of participating in something, and the process of just trying the best at something even if you fail you learn a lot from it it's you know i know that this might sound cliche but it's not a failure it's a lesson and i do truly believe in that i do truly believe that you have to try and at some point um, if you don't give up, if you try enough times, you're going you're gonna to succeed, you're going to make it work. In the upcoming episode of the Recursive Podcast, Georgi meets the co-founder and CEO of marketing collaboration platform Planable, Xenia Muntean. And if you are just as passionate about innovation as we are, hit subscribe for the Recursive Podcast on YouTube or your favorite podcast platform. We're everywhere. <laughs>